um, I'm part of SGH. Together, we work as a group uh, to provide and ensure the best outcome for all our patients under our care and to our best ability. Okay. My primary role in the laboratory is I work on patient samples uh, uh, or, um, on the infection, uh, bacteria, fungi and parasite infections. Okay. And I also oversee issues pertaining to the lab safety and as well as mentoring the new staff. I've been working in SGH. Actually, is uh, beginning is called Department of Pathology by itself. Then after that, join as an SGH part of the family is uh, more than 40 years. Yes, I, I received my long service ago, uh, award 40 years long service ago a few years ago. Um, first thing is you need to have a passion, commitment to the work, and that is very I mean old old saying. Okay. In our generation, a uh, job come by is hard, okay? and we all never think of leaving the organization. After some time, we adapt to the environment, no matter how hard, how easy we just carry on and work. Of course, uh, monetary terms, of course, is important. For me, is one of, for me to stay on, also, I also toast, toasting between. One of the uh, important factors for me to continue to be here is of the medical benefit is that um, made me to stay on and work here. Uh, well, all works come in the form of risk and hazard. Okay? There's no different working in the microbiology lab. Okay? Uh, the important, what is important is to follow the safety protocol when we handling the biohazard material okay and always stay alert and mindful um, and don't take unnecessary risk to uh, to do the a bit of shortcut or the effort uh, no because uh, we don't expose uh, to to the hazard as what the public is thinking because we have the uh, follow the safety protocol inside the workplace we clean ourselves before we go out and reach home uh, bacteria actually is a living organism they are constantly evolving uh, mutating uh, adapting to the change of environment just like the human okay they do not recognize the international boundary. Uh, therefore, we need to remain vigilant and alert all the time. Uh, for the future, the future infectious disease threat of Singapore, uh, what, we should, what we should do is we may need to invest more on our new generation and to prepare them for the challenges like a hick, we also need to um, adopt the new technologies new technologies and then collaborate with other medical institutions um, and also beyond our our country I mean overseas to doing the research and sharing the information to stay ahead of the next coming infection disease. I, I'm not sure whether I should say this, but uh, my concern is that because of the challenges and the demand from the patient, from the organization, that they make uh, a lot of us uh, feel a bit stressed uh, in terms that all of a sudden we may have to work beyond our normal working hour uh, or they cannot adapt to the change fast enough. So they uh, they prefer to have more time to themselves instead of spend more time to the organization. That's why the, a lot of our tech, when they leave, they usually looking for uh, five day work week or six, five and a half day work week. They do not want to work beyond the normal working hour in order to spend more time with the family. That is one of the main reasons I see, it's my personal feeling. 
Uh, yes, I already mentioned to you that I, I did enjoy my work. I also passion to what I do. And important thing is because we are committed to the work, so we want to have our best uh, output to, to the work. Job assigned to me, I definitely want to make it to the best. Okay? Even a small issue, like for example, keeping a, a, a archiving a bacteria, which also uh, is an important role. It's not say you just keep after that, bu chap. That's what the Chinese say, bu chap. Then after that, the next person take out. Hey, how come the MRC become the A signing two? Huh? No, <laughs> that is a very common answer which uh, I I cannot accept. Uh, 